Now the next most important thing is we gotta figure out how to hook this throttle up. By controlling the flow of fuel to the carburetor, the throttle also controls the speed of the engine. See how it comes out and goes back in? Yeah. When, when that pulls in, this has to pull the carburetor open. See? Yep. So that when you yank on that, it pulls it tight. With a brake cable from an old two-wheel bike, the boys got themselves a throttle system. It's got to be positioned right here somewhere. Like that, so you can just push it with your foot, you know? So by putting the throttle down on the floor, Cowboy will be able to use both of his hands to steer the bike and push the foot pedal with his foot, and he'll be able to control the bike a lot better. Let's go try it out. We've put a lot of time in on this vehicle, but it's not done. There's still a few things we need to do, but it's time to test out the steering and the handling to see if it'll work at all. All right, go ahead and get on there, and I'll fire it up. And oh, give it wait, a a, wait a second. You didn't say I was testing it out. Oh, I'm not driving this thing. Oh, gosh, Eugene. I inverted the gasoline engine. Spencer should be the car crash dummy. Yeah! Woo! All right, yeah! Wait, where are the brakes? It ain't got none! What do you mean it don't got brakes? What the hell? Oh, God. Oh, no, not across the street. No. You're kidding me. just happened. That bike couldn't have landed in a worse place. It's right in the middle of a great big briar patch. Now Spencer and I got to go down there and pull it out by hand. I mean, the steering was a little rough, but there's no stopping that thing. I thought I could stop it with my feet, man. All that work. The boys will find out soon enough if that crash was enough to put their vehicle out of commission. Well, let's see what kind of damage we did to this thing. 